Greetings fellow traveler. Today I want to remind you that it's okay to let the dead bury the dead. By that I mean the dead in spirit. So you got people from different angles uh, attempting to see what you got going on in your life. To see where you are, what you're doing, how you're doing. Doesn't mean they're looking out for your best interest. Sometimes it's best to stay in your own lane to continue maneuvering your journey solo why because those that come and want to impede upon you while you're on your journey they may be there just to report sometimes they may be there to remind you of the version of you that they knew sometimes but either way they're addressing situations that are spiritually dead and they're resonating with the energy of the spiritually dead. That's why I bring up let the dead bury the dead. See, we can get stuck in the past. We can get stuck in a false idea of self or an old version of ourself. The last thing you need when you're on your journey and you're moving away from that or you're moving in a, in a better place for you is to have anybody around you that's looking to remind you of who they think you are doesn't serve any purpose so while you're navigating your way be mindful of these things stay true to you and the version of yourself that you see and order your steps accordingly there's nothing wrong with prioritizing you first there's nothing wrong with that if anything it's the key to the life that you want because nobody can fulfill you like you. Nobody. God can always fulfill you. But it's essential that at certain times we walk alone with ourselves and with God's guidance. Because others will, either intentionally or in, in, unintentionally, I apologize. They will really attempt to get you stuck in a certain frame of thought. They will want to reverse the identity that you built for yourself. Amen. Don't let that happen. Be you. Be true to you. Be true to God. Everything else work itself out. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.